Hello everybody, Majimod here, and welcome to yet another day of Pikmin 3 Deluxe Edition. In the last episode, we uncovered the Formidable Oak, the final area of the game. However, the Formidable Oak sounds kind of terrifying, so we're not going to go over there for the time being. We're just going to ignore that and uh, pay attention to Louie's uh, glorious floating head. God bless the Louie, the, the almighty floating Louie. <laughs> But actually, what we ended up doing yesterday is going over to the Garden of Hope, because before we head on over to the final area, it only makes sense that we go around gathering up all the fruits that we have missed throughout the remaining areas before heading to our final destination. And yesterday, we wrapped up with the Garden of Hope, which means today we got to go to a new place. And what place is it going to be, you may ask? It could be the Tropical Wilds. It could be the Twilight River. It could be... The Distant Tundra. Uh, spoiler alert, we're going to the Distant Tundra because I'm doing this in orders of the bosses that we fought, and obviously we fought the Garden of Hope. Actually, wait, did we? No, yeah, no, 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 we fought the Garden <laughs> For some reason, I got a mix-up in my brain that the Garden of Hope and the Tropical Wilds came in different orders, but the only reason I thought that is because Alf lands here originally. However, you get the first bosses in the Tropical uh, Garden of Hope. Anyways, uh, sidetrack aside, uh, before we get going over to the Distant Tundra, let's have a chat with the crew as per usual. With the almighty floating Louie protecting us. So, why do you suppose Louie stole the captain's rubber ducky anyway? Eats me. Maybe he thought he could eat it? Or maybe it's just his treasure grubbing Hogatation blood. Well, at least these Hogatations recognize precious objects when they see them. Precious might be overstating it. Hey man, don't get don't get in the way of a man and his rubber ducky, alright, Brady? You don't, you don't understand. This is serious business. Yeah, that being said, though, I uh, will stop being stupid. Let's let's just get going to this tundra already, shall we? Now, hopefully, when it comes to this tundra, we'll be able to get everything done in one day. I kind of doubt it, though, because we're missing half the fruit. And I can tell you right now, some of the fruit here is going to take a little bit of elbow grease to get. So, should be an eventful day. And since we're going to be doing all sorts of different things, I'm just going to bring a full squad of 12 each, and we'll roll with it. Just bring the entire squad with us, because why not? And also, since we haven't been here in a little bit of time, as you can see, all the enemies have respawned. Every single one of them. Every single one of those green dots, that's an enemy. Needless to say, we're going to be doing a lot of clearing out of enemies today, because, oh boy, there's a lot of them. That being said, though, let's get going. And first off, if we take a look at a map once again over here, as you can see, we have one, two, three fruits over on this side of the map. So I'm thinking we'll, we'll go ahead and work on this side first. And then we'll move our way over to the other sides of the map. So for the time being, let's get looking around. There's some fire blowhog right over here. No problem whatsoever though, of our full squad. We got ourselves a little joust fight over here. Uh, game target on this, please. There we go. Thank you, since we have our whole squad of us. I don't think an enemies are going to give us that many tro troubles. But we got to be careful nonetheless. Now, when it comes to going over to this area over here, there is a mushroom spring over this way, and something across as well. What could it be, you may ask? Let's go find out, shall we? This thing looks so familiar. I need to get to the drink uh, so I can analyze it. Anal analyze it. Analysis it. <laughs> I can English, don't worry about it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to throw Charlie over here and we're going to have him call the Pikmin back just because we don't have our full squad of us up right now. And how did the Wing Pikmin get... Oh, oh that's why, because I called them over by accident. And they kind of made it over to the gap here somehow. Interesting. Oh, uh, wait, did I call... I threw everyone over here. Oopsies. Uh... Okay, well, that complicates things. Uh, new plan. Uh, Elf, uh, since I messed up, uh, I'm going to have you jump over here quickly. Go over this way, and we kind of need our entire army over this way to get everything done over this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have them go into the stick over here, and they can build the stick, the mightiest stick you've done ever seen. Which will get the entire crew over here. There we go. Unfortunately, we have some swooping stitch bugs to take care of. However, they're not that deadly. Also, like I said before, they just ignore you by throwing your pigeon into the ground. They don't actually kill your pigeon. There we go. More to take care of. Uh, let me just turn the camera around here. All right, now just be a little careful. You don't throw your pick off the cliff over there because there are fire enemies down there. So you, they, they can die if you're not a little careful. Here, but for the most part, you should be fine. Get a data file over here, and the area is not clear. Now the question is, how do we get Elf over here? Because I actually don't quite remember. Because we really need to get all of our cabins over here. I think we can. We just walk on over. How do I get Elf up here? Actually, I don't remember. 
Actually, I don't think I can. Okay, maybe I don't... Okay, I think I'm misremembering. Maybe I don't need Elf for the time being. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to have Elf go over here just to clear out of the way. Then we'll get working on over here because we got ourselves some grapes. However, before we worry about the grapes, there's something else I want to take care of first. And that is... Oh, and this way over here. We got these mushrooms which will take us over to the other side as you can see over there. Check this out. Give her a pick one a nice boost. However, there are also enemies over here that we got to be a little careful about. So we're going to send Brittany over there as well to help out. And she goes for a nice little flight. <laughs> Before we dig this out, we need to be very careful to beat the armprats. Or amprats. I call them arm <laughs> armprats because it reminds me of armpit. I know, very mature. And they're right next to each other, which really sucks because it means it's going to be very difficult to get by. Okay, I know you two guys are probably like buddy-buddy uh, lover lovers, but like, uh, I... I, I Please? Okay, there we go. Now they're far enough apart. Alright. ATTACK! No, 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 my god, okay. <laughs> These enemies are kind of scary. Alright, and... Once again, come on, 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 come on. They're not harmful until they electrify themselves. That's the only time you have to worry about them. There you go, okay. Whee! And now we're taking those care of those two. We can actually go over here and build this bridge. This is what I was thinking I was talking about Elf, because this is how Elf can get up here using this bridge over here. Which, uh, it's a pretty cool looking bridge. Look at this. It's not even like a bridge. It kind of like build like a stack of hay. It turns into like a hill. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it a lot. But now that out of the way, now Elf can get up here. Very handy. However, before Elf gets over this way, I'm actually going to have Elf go over here. And I'm gonna have Charlie go over here and chuck some red Pikmin this way. And, oh, they plucked one. Of, they uh, sprouted one of my Pikmin. So I'm gonna have Elf take the red Pikmin over here, and I'm gonna have him go over this way to clear out all of the enemies over here. Right, there we go. I was missing two of them. All right, and you, Pyroscorpic Sludge Thingy, be gone. All right, now that's in Carol. The way is now clear for our crew to go over this way. And I think I'm gonna have the wings carry them back. Just to be safe. Alright, now that's all the way. Now we can go on over this way. Take the shortcut that we made beforehand. And go on up over this way. Because now, our little haystack build is complete. Because now we can get up here on our own. And more importantly, we can take up this fruit. This uh, orange. I don't know who buried an orange in the middle of the winter over here. I don't even know how it got here, but uh, hey. Don't question it. Just be grateful it's here, I guess. Alright, then carry that back. Nice and easy. And now going over to this next location over here, I'm gonna have... Uh, okay, that's why I didn't want to carry that back. I'm gonna have a rock pick and tell of us over this way, because over here we have some armor cannon larva. Thankfully, however, it is in the winter, meaning it can only shoot snowballs, which means it's actually harmless, as we've seen before. All I'll do is push your pick, uh, pigment around and your cabins around. However, just to play it extra safe, and also just because I like fighting, fighting these enemies with rock pigments, it's gonna latch them on so they need to throw them on and do good damage, so... Ah, uh, there we go. Problem solved. All right, cool. Now be very careful when it comes to getting this fruit, because believe it or not, there is water behind here, and I have had it before where I accidentally threw my rock pickman too hard and threw them into the water, and they died. So be very careful about this. So take your time. There you go. I'll pull them all back. Be very careful. Like I said, I've had times before where the rock pickman flew over into the water, and it was not a pretty time. And there we go, got the fruit. Alrighty. Most excellent indeed, mm, magnificent. Collecting fruit at a record speed, mm, yes. And thankfully, that will be all three of the fruits we mentioned over this side taken care of. Took a little bit of elbow grease, but hey, not too bad. However, before we get going back over here, we kind of left something behind that we saw earlier. That being this weird orb thingy. We want this, and uh... Here's the plan. We're gonna go over here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw them some pigments so they can carry it from here. And I'm not sure which way the people are gonna try and go. Because if they try and go this way, there is a joust mite right there, so we have to be careful. They are gonna go that way, aren't they? 
Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, come back, come back, come back. Let's not do that. Let's not, let's not go commit suicide. Suicide is not cool. Do not do it. We'll get our wing pickman over here. That's actually the reason why I used the wing pickman for those grapes, so I can just call them back without them going all the way up there again, because they're so cool like that. And our fighting squad here is not the greatest for a gem smite, but I don't really have much options, so we're just going to run around here quickly. Just run around. Don't bother with them for the time being. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. There's a lot of enemies in this corner here. Over this way. And kill him! There we go, okay. One problem solved, one more to go. And that is this guy, who I'm going to run past quickly. No, 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 just leave him behind. Leave him behind. And just because he's so near to base that I really don't like him, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun really quick. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with him, you know? Just, just, just have some... Just, just, just do a little bit of bullying. Just because I really don't like these enemies, and they're very scary, and uh, honestly, I don't feel like dealing with them, so... Yellows! Sick him! <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Alrighty, now that out of the way, the area is now clear for us to go forth. So when it comes to the rest of the day here, let me take a look at my map over here. Look at the yellow really quickly first. So if we take a look over here at our map, we're gonna see here when it comes to looking for fruit, that we got one over here that's by the water, so we're gonna want a blue pigment for that. We got another one over here that's also by the water. So we're gonna want blue pigment for that one as well. And we got this one that's also beyond the water. So as you can clearly see, we're going to be needing a lot of blue pigmen. So uh, blue pigmen are going to be the star for pretty much the rest of today. However, there is one back over here. That, as you can see here, requires a wing pigmen gate. So for the most part, we're going to be wanting blues. So I'm going to be getting a lot of blues because I've got the blues. And we'll get some... I think this is good. 40 blues, 20 wings. I think this is a good squad. Unfortunately, we're like all leaf Pikmin, but eh, it is what it is. And since we're gonna be waiting on them to carry back this uh, thing of a jig, anyways, uh, we may as well just take these enemies back with us too. May as well have them all carry it back, right? Oh, wow, wow, they just carry it over the freaking wall. Wow, I didn't even know that. <laughs> if I knew that, we wouldn't have to take care of any of these enemies at the current moment. But it's fine. Better to get them out of the way than not. Analyzing! Now, I know people who played this game before are probably screaming at their microphones or screaming at their PCs at me right now because this is something you usually get in the game a lot earlier, but I just decided to grab it now. Aha! It looks like an incoming message from the Drake! What could it be? Analyzing recovered item! This here is the dodge whistle. This is an optional part that adds a dodgy feature to a regular whistle. Well, I'm glad I didn't pick uh, one of these up back on Kopai. Uh -huh. It's even got instructions with it. Let's note this down in the exploration notes. This here is the dodge whistle, and it is a very, very cool feature, because the dodge whistle will basically make it so that you and your entire crew that's currently with you will do a barrel roll to the left or right, depending which button you click. Very good for dodging quick attacks and getting your crew out of the pinch very fast. However, for some reason, it's unavailable using the Joy-Con controller horizontally, which seems like a design flaw, but I'm not going to judge it too much because I'm using a Pro Controller. Yeah. Excellent! I'll be able to dodge my way out of a sticky situation or two with this. Like I said, usually people get this item a lot earlier on into the game, but I kind of just got around to it now, so, uh, oopsies, my bad. I did a silly, oopsie daisies. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of veteran pick free players watching this are probably screaming at their PCs over that, because, uh, yeah. That being said, though, enough about that. We have ourselves some water enemies to take care of, including these stupid water spiders. Who are finally going to get killed, because after all this time, we can finally kill them because we have blue Pikmin in this area. It's been annoying us this entire time we've been over here. We also got ourselves some water dumples, which, however, with 40 blue Pikmin, they stand no chance. Three of them, though, so we gotta be a little bit careful. Go, and one more water double for the road. He actually killed one of my blue pigmen. Wow. That's rather unfortunate. I cannot believe he actually got one. 
Now, normally the way you're supposed to do is you're supposed to break down this wall and go around. However, I have a feeling. Yeah, Wing Pikmin, baby! We're cheating! <laughs> yeah. Alright, they'll carry that back, no problem, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, if there is a problem, I'm gonna cry, but uh, I think we're fine. So in the meanwhile, we got ourselves a bunch of water enemies to take care of, because like I said, all the enemies- Oh, please do it. Okay, thank god. I'm a little scared of water doubles now, I can't lie. Yeah, I just fly right over to the house and everything. Perfect. Alright, sweet. Wing Pikmin are the absolute best, as you can see. I'm just checking my map here to make sure there's no water doubles nearby, because they kind of camouflage into the water. Here's our next water enemies, the more stupid water spiders. Hey, get over here. Hey. There we go, nice and easy. And one more fruit for the road. It's down. And it's kind of cool because you can actually see this fruit from the distance. As you can see, that's where we got the fruit inside the crystal up there. So you can actually kind of see in advance what you're doing, which is kind of cool. Now uh, that said though, am I leaving any pigment behind here? Let me just make sure. I'm just whistle around. Like I said, sometimes in the water, I love how the water looks in this game, it's very pretty. I'm gonna sound like that one Miiverse uh, guy. Oh god, uh, stay away from that guy, yeah, stay away from him. Uh, I'm gonna sound like that one Miiverse guy who like, always talks about the water in Nintendo video games. <laughs> yeah. But the water in this game is very, very pretty. However, I do find that the camouflage some things a little too well sometimes, like water dumples. But it's fine. I can't believe he actually got one of my blue pickman though. Like I swarmed him and he got one of them. Honestly, I kind of respect that water dumple. He's kind of a he's kind of a man for that. <laughs> On the plus side though, we got ourselves not one, not two, but five fruits today. So we're doing pretty good. Unfortunately, the day's almost over. However, looking at what's left, I, I'm not gonna say we're gonna go try and get anything more done because it's, everything else is pretty far away. We got this thing. It's way over here in the cave. So that's not going to happen for a while. And then over here... This is also kind of far away. And we also need to uh, lift up this bamboo gate to get even access it. So... We're probably done for today in all honesty. So I guess in the meanwhile for the rest of the day, uh, we can go ahead and get uh, pick up some of the dead enemies we killed. Because, you know, never hurts to have some more Pikmin. You know, we'll make, we'll make it a mini game. Let's see how many blue Pikmin we can have by the end of the day. Why not? Let's see how many blue pickles we can have at the end of the day. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll pick these up and let's see. Uh, how many blue pickles do we have total right now? We can actually check this out very easily by going over here. We have 39 plus 89. That is... Um, I want to say 138, I think. Uh, let me let me, let me shift my math really quick. Uh, I can do this. Uh, okay, uh, carry the carry the number. 128. Okay, I can't math. Okay, so we have 128 now. Everybody who's watching right now, take your guesses. How many Pikmin are we gonna have by the end of this? We have three water doubles coming back to base, and two water spiders. Take your guess. We'll, we'll find at the end of the episode. I'm gonna guess 150. Four. We'll see. Come on, there we go. Everyone's back at base. All nice and good. Not bad at all. Alright. I was not even close. We have 141. Damn, I thought we'd get a lot more from all that, but apparently I'm just wrong. <laughs> Alright then. I wasn't even close. And just in time, too. The day is ending. All right, cool. Uh, we have one pigment left in the field. Oh, there he is. You know what? I could pluck him. But you know what? Tomorrow we're coming back here anyways to finish up with the rest of the fruit. So you know what? I will call you Gilbert. And tomorrow we will set you free upon the land. And you will join us on a grand adventure searching for fruit. For the prosperity of Kopai. I'll see you tomorrow, Gilbert. Rest well. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Captain Charlie gives speeches to Pikmin. You never know. He, he, he kind of rubs me off with the guy who gives people speeches. You never know. Goodbye, Gilbert. I'll see you tomorrow. My beloved son. Rest easy. And thankfully he's too stupid to realize how to eat Gilbert. It was literally right in front of him, so we're good. Oh, 
you know what? This would be great for blending. We can get a nice mix of flavors. Ah, uh, if we can even fit it in the goddamn blender. Look at how much fruit we got. <laughs> Anyways. We got ourselves a total of five fruit today. We got ourselves some Dom Postles. We've seen them before. Back over to Tropical Wilds. But it's still nice to have some more. They don't give a lot of juice, surprisingly, though. For how many, like, for how many pieces of the grapes, like, there are to pick up, they don't give a whole lot of juice. Got yeah, yet another citrus lump. Might even be the final citrus lump in the game. I'm not too sure about that. Don't quote me on that. Got ourselves the Zest Bomb. I just realized we got lime and lemonade. We can, uh... We can, we can make some powerful drinks with that. We got the face very clear. We can mix them together and make the most powerful drink of all time. And finally, of course, the portable sunset. Very, uh... Portable. I don't know. And just like that... We now have over 20 bottles of juice. Not bad. Look at that. Free rows, almost full. We worked hard today. Now it's time for our reward. Hell yeah. Two rows exactly. That pleases my eyes. This is great. We actually have a little bit of juice buffer. Oh yeah, only a little bit. You know, only enough to almost survive three whole weeks on this planet. Without doing anything. So thankfully our blue numbers did go up quite a bit. Unfortunately though, we did lose one Pikmin. I still have no idea how that war double actually managed to eat one of my Pikmin. I definitely thought I swarmed it enough where I would not be able to fight back, but uh... Oops. <laughs> it's okay though, mistakes happen. Fascinating, the yellow Pikmin actually have a lower body density and can thus be thrown higher than other Pikmin. This is in addition to their ability to manipulate electricity and the appearance of their adorably large ears. See, that's something that's kind of funny about this. I think I talked about this too when we actually found the yellow Pikmin for the first time. I used to always think the reason the yellow Pikmin were able to be thrown higher is because the captains grab them by the ears and throw them that way, which gives them a better throwing arm. <laughs> which, in hindsight, sounds kind of cruel, but also very funny. But, you know, I guess the scientific definition works too, you know? I guess this makes sense as well. Personally, I like my idea better though, but whatever. You can't win them all, as they say. That being said, though, on our quest for fruit, I'd say today went pretty great. Next time on Pikmin 3 Deluxe, we'll be coming back once again over here to the Distant Tundra, and hopefully wrapping up business with the final bits of fruit. However, not gonna lie to you, the last bits of fruit we have left remaining are probably some of the more trickier ones to get in the area, so we'll see what ends up happening. That being said, though, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys here tomorrow.